So welcome everybody, this is uh, De Poets here and I'm in lively Venice Beach, August 1st, beautiful sunny day. Uh, yes, I'm social distancing, I do have my mask and um, most people walking around here do have masks, which is good. But the point of me being here is uh, Venice Beach is one of the many locations in Los Angeles that actually has uh, Verizon 5G, the ultra wideband, you know, so the millimeter wave, uh, the speed that is just ridiculously fast, uh, but if you walk past a leaf, yeah, you, you get reduced speeds. Uh, so it's ideal for places like this, you know, wide open area, nice beach. It's great for conferences like uh, CES in Las Vegas. Uh, when I was there, we had amazing 5G speeds. I was able to video conference uh, over uh, Duo, you know, the Google Duo app uh, with my brother and everybody else was struggling to send like text messages over WhatsApp. So uh, 5G for Verizon, it's implemented in a way that I really appreciate. We have I don't even know how many thousands of people out here in Venice Beach today and I'm getting amazing speed. So let me show you those speeds. Uh, but then with my Samsung Galaxy Plus 5G, I'm going to also show you what it's like when you turn on the hotspot. So Verizon has recently updated their upload bandwidth. So that's the main reason why I wanted to show this to see what the, the updated technology actually looks like. And uh, hey, let's go to town and maybe I can catch a little tan while I'm doing this. So there you see the power of 5G ultra wideband, the way Verizon is doing it uh, in a compacted area like this with all these people. And when I switch over to 4G, speeds were abysmal. You know, getting five megs download, one meg up. Um, very hard to do anything with that. Maybe Twitter if you're lucky, but if you're trying to do like TikTok, Instagram, uh, Facebook, uh, those are going to be uh, you're going to have a hard time with that. Uh, but if you're on 5G. It's almost like you're on your home Wi-Fi, actually faster for downloads for most people as well. So um, let's try the hotspot on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G and see how this does when I connect it to the uh, Microsoft Surface Laptop 3. All right, had to pack up to uh, find another safer spot because uh, some people just don't understand social distancing. So uh, still gonna get this laptop uh, speed test done over 5G mobile hotspot, but uh, gotta find a safe spot first.
So yeah, so that's kind of nice with uh, the Verizon 5G Ultra Wideband in an open area like this, like a beach. This is beautiful. So turning on that 5G mobile hotspot, I'm on my Microsoft Surface Laptop 3, getting 400 megs download and about 30 upload. That's perfectly fine for like editing 4K video content and then uploading it to YouTube, which is probably what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna go over to the beach, put my feet in the sand, edit this video, upload it to YouTube, and hopefully you all enjoy it. But wait, there's more. So I decided just to actually come way out to the beach at the water and uh, yeah, with this Verizon 5G signal, I'm getting about 500 megs per second download speeds and about 40 to almost 50 upload speeds. Uh, pretty crazy. So this is the beach. The tower is way past that blue building over there. Um, so I'm definitely uh, a few blocks away. And I'm actually loving this. So thank you very much, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit that like button if you like this style of uh, just me being a 5G beach bum. And uh, hit that subscribe button. I got more interesting videos coming. And of course, please check me out on all the other social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter. Um, here comes our lovely security force here. And hopefully I'm not doing anything illegal. I'm a little curious though. There's a sign here that says no swimming. Yeah. Or uh, no swimming. What else are people supposed to do here?